What's going on? This is Disco Doggy here. I'm gonna do some pet battles in the world of Warcraft. Of course, that's what I always do. I don't know why I gotta tell you that. You know that. Uh, let's start off with uh, an infected squirrel team. I, I, I actually got a bunch of new teams. I haven't been playing pet battles much, but yesterday I logged in and made some new infected squirrel teams. Ron Stafor was giving me some crap on the forums about how I never use one of his favorite pets, and I'll give it another try. Um, what I'm doing right now with it is I have Creeping Fungus. There's Synergy there with the Moonlight, and then the Sporling Sprout gets some uh, healing Synergy from the Moonlight as well, because Moonlight will... Here, how about I go up here? Because Moonlight, all pets receive 25% additional healing and magic abilities deal 10% additional damage. <clears throat> See, I got no problem with healing in general. That's, that's, that's pretty good, 25% healing, right? It's just the synergy between Sunny Day and Photosynthesis. Ugh. It's just wrong. It's just wrong, man. But anyways, let's not go there. Let's not be all negative. Let's not be a negative Nelly. Yeah, I, I don't know. It says, <laughs> that was pretty dumb. But I had a friend who used to say that. And she sounded dumb when she said it. So I don't know why I would not sound dumb when I say it. Like I have the magical ability to make dumb things cool. <clears throat> yes, I do. I'm awesome. Okay, let's get this battle on the road before I talk myself into a hole here. Okay, awkward silence. Time for a quick coffee break. Okay, well, looks like... Oh, there we go, there we go. Made has been interesting. Oh, no. Really? Really, McMillie? Okay. Well, you gonna you gonna haunt me first? That's what I'm hoping. Yes. Okay. What next then? Let's uh, let's go ahead and get the moon fire going for our little squirrel pal there. Now I know the squirrel's gonna take some. Well, let me think about this. I definitely don't want the, the fairy dragon against the MPD. This guy might have some, some, some dragon can damage. I mean some strong damage against dragons, so maybe this is the way to go. Um, yeah, why not? And then I can have Sporling Sprout against MPD. The Squirrel against the Turnip. Those are the matchups. Ah, oh, snap. He saw right through my plan. But at least I got him to swap out of it. Okay. So what did I say? What matchup? I want the uh I want the squirrel against the terrible turnip. I'll get back to the meta in a second. Can't I can't be too uh Oh no. Well, actually, I don't. I don't mind that. That's not really that bad if you think about it. Uh, okay, cool. That is good. Go and put your decoy down, or not. Either way, we're fine. Although now I need to watch out. Well, I don't need to watch out for the turnip anymore because the turnip does not have weakening blow. Okay, we are in good shape. So the meta. I mean, I can't really... I don't have a lot of battles to go on because I just, like I said, I took a pretty long break and was immersed in Hearthstone and just came back yesterday. But yesterday, there were a lot of interesting teams. Like, and I, and I don't say that as a like, euphemism for bad. It was just like, it was, it was, a, it was a cool day. I liked it. 
Um, the only thing I didn't like, there was one person, their name was, they named their graves 5K. Uh, they were, well, you can imagine, <laughs> they were going for the uh, 5K achievement. And then there were also a lot of sunny day teams. So that was a little bit annoying. They forced me into using my Jade Miss Dancer. How are we doing back there? Oh, we're good. We're good. <clears throat> and, you know, the, the, the Graves team I forced me into using my... Uh, my darkness team, my frothy, frothy bold mice. That's what it is. But besides that, I got a chance to experiment with some teams. I got to, you know, I made some some new teams and mostly squirrel teams because I was playing around with it. Didn't have the greatest uh, greatest amount of success, but it was fun. Uh, let me see here. Does this do more than four hundred? It does not. Hmm. Oh. What to do? I better play it safe, and then he's just going to dodge it. Shoot. Actually, let me get some heals out of this. Come on, Moonlight. Save me. Save me, Moonlight. I really I really cut it closer at the end. Man, it's a good th it's a good thing that he used Ethereal, because I I probably shouldn't have jabbed that first time. Wait, I don't remember what happened. I think I messed up. <laughs> Barely escaped that one. Wow, I'm out of practice, man. Okay, what the four and two? Nothing, nothing to really get too excited over. Oh, while I was playing with um, the Jade Oozling, I realized that it has some poison. I mean, when you put a acidic goo on another pet, it poisons them. So um, I've never really tried to use that synergy at all. So I have a. Uh, uh, Death Adder Hatchling. Ooh, this is not good. Um, snap. And the Spectral Spinner. Ooh, that MPD. It's going to give me problems. Let's start with the Adder and hope he starts with the MPD. Nice. That is what I wanted. Right there, we're going to put the DOT up right here. And then if he stays in, the two hits from Puncture Wound will take the decoy down. Very good. That is avoidable, right? Yes. So... Okay, good. He stayed in. Okay, sometimes there's some funky mechanics going on with blind, and I swear I don't remember them all the time. So I was like, "Is that gonna hit me?" That that was my that was my awkward silence at that moment. I was like, "Is that thing gonna hit me?" But it didn't hit me. So, okay, well this is good because the MPD is gone. Death at her hatchling. Has 500 health on it. Uh, what's he gonna do? Let me go ahead and go to this guy. I think I think I'm all right. What? Oh, okay. I'm like, how's he faster? Uh, now this is gonna be really cool. 
if you put your darkness up. Actually, I'm not going to chance that you... Okay, he put his darkness up. <laughs> and I could have just hit him with this. But I decided to be completely safe. So... <clears throat> There we go. Whoa, nice. Right at 280. So now, what I'm going to do is swapping a good idea here. You know what? I shouldn't have took that chance. I, should, I shouldn't have played it so safe with the... Um, with the raven because what else is he going to do you know he's going to darkness and then that would have allowed me to not take that hit so this is going to be long and ugly right here but the goal of or my point the reason i put the jade oozling in is because it can do okay against the idol with those these two along with absorb I don't think it's going to be able to kill the idol not 249 a pop and then it has to take two rounds to put this up but it's going to drain it and hopefully hopefully the timing will work out I'd like to say I have thought about it and have it all planned out in my head but I don't I'm hoping the timing works out where I can leave the idol with acidic goo and corrosion and find a lull in the sandstorm. So if that's if he's got both of those up, and I come in and hit him with a uh, with a bone bite, then it's gonna do a lot of damage. Oh, got crit there. So he's at 748, slowly losing health. Oh, well, this might be good if he kills me right here. Okay. Whoa, it worked out perfectly. Isn't that nice? Like I said, I'm not I'm not that much of a awesome strategist to where I knew that was going to happen, but Huh. Maybe I should have blinded right there. Uh oh. Of course I'm not an awesome strategist. I really screwed that one up. Now if I lose I'm gonna be in a lot of I'm sorry, if I miss I'm gonna be in a lot of trouble. Oh no. What did I do to myself? No missies. Oh whew. Oh. So <laughs> I I don't think I'm playing very well. My, my lack of recent experience. You th you'd think after all these battles that I'd be able to take like four or five days off and come back and just be like, yeah, whatever, but apparently not. Um, you know, so what, what, what went wrong there? Well, I really wanted to get that extra damage while there's no sandstorm up with the um, spectral spinner, but that allowed the idol to kill me on that turn and then use his deflect I'm sorry not yeah deflection not reflection thank god um d deflection to block the second bone bite <clears throat> and waste my undead racial and then I, I had to depend on the death adder which obviously got the job done but it was a little bit scary at the end so the alternative would have been to blind the blind the sandstorm then miss while he uses deflection and then I'd have two attacks in sandstorm so I don't know I don't know maybe six to one half dozen to the other I don't know the other way seemed better to me okay well let's go let's let's go back to the squirrel um so I was thinking like, oh man, I was trying hard to come up with a with a good counter. Uh, I'm sorry, not a good counter, with a good third pet for these two. I put the imp and the squirrel together and I'm like, ah, whatever, just have some fun with the with the armadillo. So 
Let's hope that there's no sandstorm. Even if there is, I have an infected claw here, but I don't think I don't think the stone armadillo is going to get the job done against the idol, even with an infected claw. So what? I'm two and zero. Oh. Both games, not great. The first the first battle, I probably shouldn't have jabbed on that on that first. Uh, first attack against the ghastly kid but you know what if I if I wouldn't have jabbed then he wouldn't have ethereal so I, I mean <laughs> my my um, my interesting logic there or my statement anyways um, if I would not have jabbed <laughs> then if I would have went ahead and tried to use the the heal what's it called the, the 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 i don't even know what it's called the, the the healing seed something seed pod i don't know leech seed um then my leech seed would have missed so it actually turned out pretty well and i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know all i could say is it's fun pet battle oh here we go and you know what? I'm doing a lot better with dealing with, with, with RNG. I'll tell you why. Hearthstone has just like RNG'd me to death. You know, like there's just so much RNG in that game that when I come back and get a get a crit right there, or I get crit, it doesn't seem so bad anymore. Like, and I'm not just saying that because of you know also what Ron Sephore said on the forums but ser seriously like it's not it's not as bad as I thought because there's nothing like um, you know have, having a nice having a full board in Hearthstone and you have 28 health and your opponent has three and then they pull out that crazy card with the the Hail Mary card the 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 Yogg I don't, I don't even remember which which old god it is or if it's but basically it just all this random stuff happens and then I swear in that situation me full board 28 health my opponent three they ended up with a full board I ended up with all my minions dead and and they had like three secrets and they totally like won because of that one card but anyway so let me not talk about that because if you don't play hearthstone you're like what is this dude talking about this is not a hearthstone channel it is a <sighs> world of warcraft pet battles sorry about that my point being the reason that has to do with with pet battles is my point is maybe the rng in this game isn't as bad i mean you know people are always like thanks blizz and uh, for like all the bad stuff they do and always calling them out for mistakes but they have really done a better job with RNG than in the past for pet battles. I mean, the whole, uh, well, none of these moves have it. Like the the whole high-low split damage range thing. Like, I, I, I can't say I'm in love with it, but it's probably better than missing. I, I, you know, I, I, I think it's better than missing. Okay, so I'm... I'm I'm sitting here yapping away. Uh, I'm not in a great position here because I'm I'm like damned if you do, damned if you don't. However, I mean, damned if you do, damned if you don't. The do meaning another gate. But I'm not as damned because I do have that stone armadillo back there. And why is that a big deal? Well, I'm still gonna have to take all this damage from. Um, from this guy or maybe not okay I thought he was gonna do the whirlpool thing uh, but if he does use a geyser I'm not gonna get stunned from it okay well he's not using the the build that I thought Ugh. how's my imp gonna do one-on-one -on -one against that guy well he's got 598 health so I think just gaining a turn from oh okay oh really I don't know what you were thinking there 
I'll go ahead and tank up here put my shield on because you're gonna die from this okay well it's gonna work out go go armadillo armadillo superhero I love this armadillo man I'm, I'm glad to finally be getting some use out of it. I don't I don't feel like it's as useless as it's been in the past and we're not even in Legion yet um, but I, I, yeah, it's been it's been working out for me. I can't believe it, cause I, I've wanted to play this thing so often. I'm like strong against undead, strong against humanoids. Oh, but the interesting thing now is is well, undead aren't going to be as much as of a threat. I, I keep saying that, and I'm hoping that's the case. I mean, you know, oh, there's a crit. So I got two crits that game. Go, go figure. I go talking about how crits don't bother me, and I get two of them. And I'm not going to say they don't bother me. I'll. I'll probably cry again, but not as much, man. I mean, yeah. Card games. It's crazy. Um, okay. Well, somehow I ended up at 3-0. and Let's see what I did. I played that team, that team, and that team. So this was my... I'm trying to remember which teams I played. I played this team. I played Poison. Did I play the same old Moonies against this team? Oh, yeah, yeah, because I left with that guy against the Ghastly Kid. Okay, well, let's go with a different dragon just for fun. Emerald Whelpling, not a good pet. Not that good, but hey, why not play with an Emerald Whelpling? And again, we're going with Moonlight here, Infected Squirrel, Moonlight to buff the Creeping Fungus, Moonlight to buff the Heels. Hey, I'm 3 and 0. Why not? I spelled Vengeance wrong. I realized that soon after the fact. But Well... possibility that the dire horn has trihorn shield and now I thought about putting this guy in for the moonlight and then swapping but I was hoping exactly what just happened would happen um, Lightning, Stampede, and Creeping Fungus is going to add up pretty fast. I'm like, holy crap, how did he just do a Meteor against me? <laughs> Seeing that in the background. Scared me, man. So. Yeah, look, how, look, at, look at all that damage. I mean, it is a common pet, so common is that Dude, I so don't know World of Warcraft anymore <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know how to call call things by their right names I'm actually kind of I wouldn't say stressed about Legion but I'm like you know what I don't want to I, I don't want to level up I don't want to I don't want to level up to get the new pets I mean I just I want the new pets to appear in my in my uh, log and I just want to do PvP pet battles with them <laughs> I don't want to have to level up. I'm so over World of Warcraft besides this oh, Garrison's just killed it for me man I, 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 I overdid it all my alts killed me I, I swear, and, and I, I, I've said this before, I swear that I have something called garrison sickness. If I log in now to my garrison, I get this just kind of funny feeling in my stomach, like, oh, not again. <laughs> it's not Blizzard's fault, that's my fault, I mean. <laughs> but it is kind of funny. Hey, what just happened? What? I didn't do that. Okay, well... Uh, 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 okay, I'm, it's not going to matter, but, well, it would have mattered if he, he charged me, but, whoa, better be careful there. I just, uh, sensitive mouse here, I guess. 
Yep. So, pet battles. Um, <laughs> now would be a really good time if you're someone who's... I mean, I, I don't know that you'd necessarily be watching this video if you don't do PvP pet battles yourself. But, this might be a good time to start because... I mean, every meta is different, but mine, at least over the past few days, I'd say, what, 20 battles? I've seen two Graves in 20 battles, maybe five MPDs, two Graves MPDs team. I mean, not mutually exclu exclusive. Um, all right, well... All I'm saying is it's probably a good start to, it's a good time to start if you if you if you don't play already. So he's just that, that's an interesting tactic. Are you just passing every time because you know you're gonna lose but you don't want to run? Oh. Okay. Or did they just go AFK? I don't know. At any rate, I'm four and oh. I was hoping to I was hoping to I was planning on playing longer, you know, like Generally, I get like you know a couple losses when I do five wins or bust. So this is four and zero. Oh. Emerald Welpling, so pro. Wait, did I even get to use it? Dang. These 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 whelplings are what are what first got me into pet battling or, or into collecting pets I guess I I don't know how I first came across cross one but I just had I had oodles of money in Cataclysm because I would like do professions every day and I was a jewel crafter I don't remember how much I had it, it was a lot I mean basically I bought whatever the hell I want but um now I'm broke um. But I bought one, and then, uh, here, let me, let me cue, so, while I'm talking here. Here, let me get back to that pointless, boring story. Uh, what do I want to do? I have, I put all these teams in the favorites, and I haven't really played them that much. Um, yeah, let's, let's, let's go to our favorite team. We're 4-0, oh. might as well, might as well have a little fun with the, the rocket chicken. Okay, what kind of synergy? Oh, let's play lightning. Let's play our own lightning team. I haven't played the tiny twister in a long time. Whoa, what's wrong with me, man? Tiny twister. Awesome. That lightning got me thinking about it. Okay, so anyways. That's when I first started getting into pet collecting. Because uh, I, a, 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 I had all this... Well, at least what I thought was a lot of gold back then, and so like the 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 whelplings were expensive on my server, and I just started like, ah, right, cool, I'm gonna have a different colored or or, or or a different whelpling to match the color of each character. So I had a I had a, I had a green one for my hunter, I had a green one for my for my druid, I had a blue one for my priest, I had a blue one for my shaman, and then I had a red one for my DK. I don't know why I'm telling you all this. That's how I got into pet battles. I mean, that's how I got really into collecting pets. Uh, oh, snap. Well, here's my loss. I'm, I mean, I'm not going to go out that quick and say that I lost already, but it's not looking good. Uh, you going to start with that? Probably. Oh, okay. Well, that's, that's, that's a good thing there, then. At least I'm going to be able to get a... Oh, you know what I should have done? Snap. Should have thought about it a little bit more. Um, I was thinking if I would have uh, used... If I would have let him get a shell armor up first. Hold on, let me think about this. Oh, if I would have let him get a shell armor up first, then I could have bashed and wasted the turns of a shell armor, because that's really what what you want to do with shell armor. But let me see if I can if I can take this Terraclaw hatchling by surprise here. Nah, he's probably not going to let it happen. So, what what I mean by surprise, I mean let me get the 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 black claw on him. Nope, not going to happen. 
Okay, well, we don't want to stay in for this. I do have this Swamp Croaker against the Terra Claw Hatchling when he's slower than me. That's going to be good. Ugh. Okay. I guess this is the matchup I want right here. I mean, I, I, I'm tempted to bash him, but at the same time, I want to take advantage of the Black Claw, and I don't really want him to swap that much. A lot of times you bash people and they'll, they'll just like instantly swap. Okay, so I think now is the time to bash. If I'm going to do it, I'm going to be able to survive this. How much did that do? Uh, to me, 90 and 23. 90 and 23, I can, I can do 90 and 23. I can survive that. Ah, should have paid attention. That's fine, that's fine. What I mean by pay attention is I should have paid attention to while it was happening instead of having to go look back there. Ah! Oh. Let's go ahead and go back to this. Do I have a frog kiss here? I do not, so. I don't have enough health to withstand come, cut, swapping this much. Not against, not against these two guys, so. Hmm. Yep, there's some, there's some anti-synergy for you. My lightning is, is really messing up my, uh, my toe nibbler there, so. Not working out as I would have liked, so. I don't, I don't know what I've, what I could have done differently um i think i did okay with that guy against a black fuse bombling it's just i have zero first tier pets against two first tier pets so it's okay i, I what i say i wanted to play more and i was gonna probably end up losing so here's my chance to play more Do I want to go Gensu Brothers on him? Uh, yeah. So, you know, I don't, I don't know what I could have done differently. I don't. I mean, I did do a lot of swapping, but I just don't see how I could have won that one. Uh, I don't, I don't want to go Gensu Brothers yet. Do I? I mean, I hate to lose to a Terra Claw Hatch. I'm so tempted to play one of these teams right now, but let's hold off. Let's 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 see what other Alpine Fox teams we have, because that's the that's a good uh, that's a good Terra Claw Hatchling counter. Hmm. Hey, this might be interesting. Maybe I make a team. Maybe I make a team just to specifically counter that one. Um, dude, I just I just don't like losing. It's funny. I was like, yeah, I need to play with the silly team so I can lose. And I'm like all, all upset now. No, not upset, but you know, I'm just like, dude. Terraclaw Hatchling is one of those pets that I'm just like, yeah, I, I I hate it, but I don't have a strong as strong feeling as a strong of feelings for it as like the uh blossoming ancient or the anubiseth idol probably worse than the mpd and graves i mean i hate those teams but not like that much i'm not feeling creative let's just 
let me go with, uh, we don't have to go there. Let's just go to something that might be fun. What is this team's record? Whoa! I would expect it to be better than that. That's unfortunate. Don't explode me, bro. So let's, is this going to be win number five? And hopefully I dodged that Terra Claw or Eater team. Oh, snap. Well, well. <laughs> I got two health, uh, two pests with a lot of health in the front. I got a Jade Oozling. I'm, I'm sorry, in the back and the front. Apparently I don't know the difference between the front and the back. So um, things could be worse. I could... I could split a split open an old Milwaukee and say it doesn't get much better than this, but if it, it actually does get better than this, but I'm I'm doing okay. I think I think maybe maybe I'm not. Maybe I'll eat my words and uh, won't be able to pull it off. But let's see. All right. Well. So here's the plan, I think. I think this is the plan. We take out Wee Bomb number two with the Jade Oozling. He, he may try to get tricky and death grip me. Nah. Okay, so how are my dudes holding up back there? Pretty well. <sighs> okay, so oh, there we go. There's something different. You think that I couldn't handle that, right? Uh, what do I do? I think if I go one and then heal, that'll be enough. Yeah. Oh, I should have just done two heals. Crap. Silly me. Silly rabbit. Wait, would 172 have done it? I don't remember. 172 times 2, excuse me. Was he more than uh, 344? I don't know. I don't remember. This is perfect! Okay, so I told you a long time ago that I had big plans for my team, uh, Hei Jing Guaita. But I have big plans for this team too. And you'll figure out what those big plans are when I actually get around to implementing it. But I just gotta tell you, I'm gonna be going full nerd at some point. Full nerd. Okay, anyways, I'll leave it. I don't wanna build it up too much because I got, I, got, I got big plans for the Jade Oozling. Let me just tell you that. Big plans. <laughs> Like, what is this dude talking? I'm being all cryptic and for 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 no reason, but but I, I don't I don't like jinx myself. And anyways, let's let's get off that topic. Um, <clears throat> three wee bombs go down easy when you have a jade oozling and two um, somewhat healthy pets in the back. Well, somewhat. Damn, that dude had twelve no seventeen forty five plus three forty five or no seventeen twenty five close to twenty one hundred health. So you know what? I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that if I didn't have those two pets, that wouldn't have worked out as well as it did. But wait, what am I talking about? The the Jade Oozling didn't die. Oh, but those two pets absorbed a lot of the health, so yeah, yeah, fair that that was a nice way to end. And yet, somehow, this team was, it was only 13-6-1. I want to say, and I don't just want to pull this out of my behind, but I want to say that I was having to face a lot of MPDs. But it seems like it should do okay against an MPD. No, not really. Not really. Because, see, there, when you're creating a team, you can always say, well, hey, I'm going to include the marionette. Because it's a good counter to MPDs. But 
then the other player sort of has to let you counter them. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like they're just going to be like, if they're good, they're not going to be like, hey, here's my decoy. Why don't you drop some bones on it? No, they're going to not drop their decoy, and they're going to wait till you're dead and then drop their decoy. So when I say I was playing against MPDs, I was probably playing against good MPDs. See, there's a, there's a difference. But Well, that was fun. Uh, went 5-1. and one. My one loss. I don't. I don't mind losing so much th that that battle. Um, I, I don't know that I'm gonna win that if I do things differently. Um, so so yeah. Uh, I think I'm gonna upload this video and probably go do some other things that aren't pet battle related. <laughs> so thank you for watching the video. I will. I'll probably be, I know I said I'm going to make more videos because it's the summer and I haven't really been doing that, but I think like that, you know when you play a new game and you're like really, really into it and you're like, oh yeah, this is so fun, it's awesome. I think I've reached that peak with Hearthstone and I'm like on my way down, so I'll probably be playing less of it and getting more back into pet battles and other things, but um, yeah, so... I mean, at least a couple videos a week. I mean, I think I did that well before it was summer, but hopefully there will be more. Um, hopefully I'll keep finding new pets to play with. The infected squirrel was enough to inspire me today. So um, there you go. Have a good day, and uh, see you sometime soon. Next week. This week. Sorry. <laughs> and apparently I don't remember how to stop a video. And it's still not...